Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisa and please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell. Everything I have linked to be linked down in the description and let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start off by removing the shine from my natural nail and I'm just using a 180 grit sanding band at the speed of 5. These are the sanding bands I got um, from Getting Out 32, and they're amazing. Then this is just Dehydrator from um, LGN. You guys know I've been loving using this Dehydrator. Um, Mia Secret Dehydrator works. Um, Young Nail Swipe, things like that. Alcohol. Um, the Cleanse also works. And here's a sneak peek of the Nail Win gel polishes. Um, the Nail Win gel polishes were sent to me by um, Nail Win. Nail Win is a gel polish company from amazon but more on that later i went ahead and used the prep the ph bond is what it's called from um pro nail bar and i was testing it out because i wanted to know what it really does um so that's why i just used it on its own but i know it's supposed to be used in conjunction with a um non-acid primer but i wanted to see what it could do on its own so i'm using beach babe from um acrylic creamery if you guys watched my previous video which was the nail haul you would see all of these products i'm using um acrylic creamy monomer and then this is a panna size six acrylic brush and i really enjoy this brush i got this years ago but all i'm going to be doing is a natural overlay and then it'll be time for the gel polish
so here is beach babe and you guys it looks really really good and i did go ahead and um hand file the nails a little bit just to bring in the shape but it's not really much to bring in because i didn't really extend many of the nails except for my pinky and my thumb um that was pretty much it so whatever i did extend i kind of just brought in the sides and now i'm using the 180 grit sanding band to kind of buff the nails as well as to get rid of any um lumps or bumps to really just smooth everything out and go over the cuticle area and then after this i will be going in with the gel polish So now that everything has been dusted off, um, I'm going to be showing you guys all the colors. So as I said, Nailwind is a gel polish company from Amazon, and I do have a discount code. The link to it will be down below in the description. Again, it is valid only until October 31st. After that, the code will not work. So thank you to Nailwind for sending me this product. And I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to try the vertical ombre trend, but I wanted to do it like my way because I was not doing fringes. But as you can see, I started off by doing it incorrectly. So just go in with the brush that comes in the gel polish bottle, do your sides, and then try and blend it in the middle with like maybe some excess gel or no excess gel at all. So that is what I learned, but it took me a while to get there. So I want to show you guys me doing it incorrectly and then me doing it the right way you can see it's so much more pigmented and it just goes on way better the actual quality of this gel polish is really really good the black was very pigmented um the brown when you're using it from the um bottle it's very pigmented as well and you can shear it out to make it kind of like a syrupy brown color and you don't have to make it so opaque but um of course doing two coats of each color makes it stand out a lot um the black which is super super pigmented um off rip and i was curing everything for a full 60 seconds um it did come with an instruction manual for how long to cure the products and all frequently asked questions and i really do enjoy this gel polish and again um the link with the discount code will be down below in the description and let me know if you guys have tried the vertical um ombre trend at all if you guys like this trend um and it is way easier than you think i know some people are like it's super difficult um it's actually not when you do it when you do it right it's easy but if you're doing it in a roundabout way it is very difficult so just kind of do what people are telling you to do don't try and switch it up because it just will not work it literally no like it's just gonna be so much harder like i was trying to do my own thing when i was using this brush instead of just going in with the regular brush and it made it take so much longer it was way more difficult than it had to be but these color combinations were actually really really pretty um and these colors do have like numbers to them but they pretty much just come in a kit so that's why i didn't even read them off because um it's just in the full kit i'm gonna let you guys watch me mess up and then you guys will see when i'm doing it the right way Thank you. 
actually love all the um, ombres. Um, I couldn't just decide on which one to do, so that's why I kind of did all of them. But here I am using the black, and then I'm going to go in with the brown. And you guys, it is like I'm doing, so what I'm doing is I'm alternating. So when I do this like swipe across, um, it's going to look different. So you guys are going to see what I'm talking about, especially when it comes to the middle finger and the ring finger. It looks very, very, very good. Um, the index finger looks good too, but you guys are going to see what I'm, I'm talking about. The brown one looks good, but if I would have redone the base, it would have looked even better it's kind of like this cool kind of optical illusion kind of not looking thing but i really enjoyed it my mom said she didn't like it but it's okay she'll say she likes it in like a couple of days i guess but i'm sorry i was out of frame so much i even pulled the camera back that is what it looks like so it looks very very good you can tell how much more saturated the colors are once you just use it use the brush like regular but i still am going in and blending with the other brush um there's some cart brushes that are very similar to the one i'm using this brush specifically came in a solid um gel um kit which i love the nudes in that solid gel collection but yes here i am going back in and doing the other nails so use the gel polish brush that comes in the um bottle then blend it out with another brush i preferred the square brush just because of the way it actually blended the colors and it didn't take much force or effort at all so i'm gonna let you guys watch and then i will be back Don't forget to clean your brush off in between um, colors. So the one I'm using to blend. If I'm going to clean up the excess gel polish around my nail, I'm going to wipe it off, dip it in some alcohol, clean it up, and then, you know, continue to make sure the brush is clean. Then after I'm done blending the colors, I also go ahead and wipe it off. And before I swipe, I do dip it in the alcohol. I'm not really using the acetone, there's kind of no point, but make sure you get up any gel polish that gets on the skin before it cures. After it cures, you'll just have to file it off. So now that everything is fully cured, I'm going in with the acrylic creamery diamond top coat and I'm curing that for a full 60 seconds. And then I went ahead and added some cuticle oil and then that will be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell. Everything I will link to be linked to down in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Here are all the colors I used. And there's the numbers for them. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.